Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday and I am gonna go get some coffee and go to some thrift stores because I wanna try to find some cute pieces for my apartment. We moved into this apartment like seven months ago and I feel like there are some things that I just never quite finished um, setting up and I feel like I can find some cute, unique pieces at some of the thrift stores or like vintage stores. So yeah, I'm just getting ready for that. I just use my Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream as my um, moisturizer. Don't always go in with an eye primer, but I thought that for the sake of this video, I will. I use this Jaclyn Cosmetics Hydrating Under Eye Primer. It does something. It's not like out of this world. Also went ahead and my little shave, shave face, my face shave, and I washed my face so we have a nice clean base. And I also thought today would be a nice video to just kind of get to know me and like kind of why I started this YouTube channel and all that good stuff. So I'll just kind of show you my, my go-to makeup that's not too over the top. Yeah, first thing I'm going to do is go in with my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This foundation is my holy grail. I don't want to be too chatty about the makeup, but it just looks quite natural. And it is hydrating. I have drier skin. I think this camera has like a blurring filter, so you can't really see the details. Um, I do find that my forehead is usually tanner than the rest of my um, face. I kind of correct that with some cream bronzer. The shade that I use is L5 Fiji. So you should definitely try out this foundation if you're looking for your, you know, go-to holy grail. A little fun fact is that I actually did my own wedding makeup. Um, and this is the foundation I used and it looked amazing in pictures and like in person and everything. I think I'll go in with some brows. Honestly, I don't do brows every day simply because I'm lazy. Let's brush them upwards and I just kind of start on the bottom and fill in any sparse areas kind of on the top. I'll come back once I'm done with the brows. Okay, so I filled in the brows. Honestly, I went a little too heavy handed on this brow, but I don't really think you can notice. Um, and I'm going to set it with my Anastasia. Uh, brow gel so just kind of comb them upwards honestly guys I'm kind of been in my no makeup girl era um <laughs> I used to never be like oh I'm too lazy to do it but no like I actually do feel lazy these days but I do have to say that alhamdulillah my skin has cleared up therefore I don't feel that I need to wear makeup to cover up acne at least if anything it's more so for like dark circles or just kind of like that dimension it adds to your um, face. I will do a whole separate video or like TikTok on my acne journey. I went on Accutane for like months and I feel like there's a lot to digest there. Now I'm gonna go in with the Born This Way concealer and I use the shade Porcelain. And I like to let it sit there, get a little dry, like kind of change from a liquid to a cream formula because it's easier to blend and it gives you more coverage that way. While I'm letting that sit there, I'm going to go in with the Milk Makeup Cream Bronze Stick. It's just really creamy and I warm it up on the back of my hands. I There's not one main reason why I started my YouTube channel. I don't really have any outstanding expectations as to where this is going to go. Honestly, I have always loved watching YouTube and like vloggers and... Just kind of like lifestyle videos and I feel like I've kind of developed a happy peaceful lifestyle for myself. I just kind of am like why not share that? I think it's fun. It just kind of feels like a creative outlet because I feel like I've always been a creative person but I've never really allowed myself to actually look into that or act upon it. So by the way, I'm just going to take some on my brush and gently do my jawline. I found myself honestly kind of in a rut and feeling like uninspired and like I had actually thought about starting a channel like a year or so ago, 
that I was still in um, college and planning my wedding, just like a lot of life changes. And I don't know, I just didn't feel like actually ready to start a channel. And so now, just kind of unintentionally in the new year, the timing just kind of like happened itself. I didn't plan to start like a channel in 2023 or anything like that. It was honestly really spontaneous. The husband does my makeup video, like that was never a planned thing. It was literally like in that moment, I was like, you know what would be so fun and funny is if you like did my makeup and we posted it. A lot of people like told me like they really liked it. And then I, we were gonna go to um, Dearborn the next weekend. And I was like, you know what? Like that was kind of fun. Like let's just vlog this trip. Then my husband, he surprised me with a camera. And so that was really motivating to like actually vlog and stuff. And so now I just kind of want to like challenge myself and pick up on new skills with like video editing and, you know, angles and how to use a camera and, you know, challenging myself to live out a, a more aesthetic lifestyle but i it's i also don't want it to like come off as fake and like staged like i actually want to like kind of push myself to do things i wouldn't normally do go places or incorporate more healthy habits even with like cooking videos i've posted a few of those on tiktok and that's been really fun a lot of people have asked me like how i've learned how to cook it's kind of like when i started and it's fun to share your lifestyle and inspire others and i like to get inspired by people too i just kind of thought it's now or never let me just start it see if i like it see if people enjoy it um and kind of see where it goes from there and now i'm gonna go in with some cream blush i'm gonna use the rare beauty encourage a lot of these products if not everything i've used so far is what i used on my wedding day and I'm not shy with the blush. As you girlies know, with first thing to fade. Yeah, back to like this whole YouTube channel. Um, I was also like kind of nervous to start it. And like if I think about it too much, then I would kind of like talk myself out of it. Honestly, I've never been one to really care what other people um, think. That's really that. <laughs> A little bit about me. I am 22 years old. I graduated from The Ohio State University in May of 2022. I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder. Um, and so I was planning my like wedding last year. I got married in July of 2022. Yeah, so now I'm just kind of happy to be in a point where things are more stable and like, I don't know, I guess I just do like routine. I find a breakfast and i eat it every day for like three months i find a show and i only watch that show until i finish it which <laughs> now that i'm saying that out loud that kind of like sounds like everyone yeah no i just i like stability and it's not because i'm boring it's just kind of like that's where the most progress happens and the most growth because i feel like if you're constantly in this state of change then there's no room to actually like learn and grow also i'm gonna go in with some loose powder from laura mercier and just kind of lightly set the rest of my face because i feel like the other powder i used that's a pressed powder formula there's just like still some spots on my face that are a little like damn i'm gonna wipe off the product for my lips it just gets a little cakey when you put your actual like lipstick on the sides of my mouth are always so dry no matter how much chapstick i put on just went in with some vaseline i use that in my Laneige lip sleeping mask but back to kind of what i was saying obviously marriage has been one of the biggest changes and i feel like there's a lot to say about that um but i feel like that should just be for a whole nother video honestly like it hasn't been a huge change to like my everyday life just because like my husband and i we are so similar and our lives have blended really smoothly together alhamdulillah that's not like this outstanding thing that like has completely turned my life around if that makes any sense i'm just gonna go ahead and do some simple eyeshadow now and with a fluffy brush i'm gonna just go in with like a light shade I like rarely wear makeup these days and i think the biggest reason is because i hate taking it off 
it's such a hassle to take it off. So I feel like everyone on like in social media and stuff wears it in all their videos. And so I kind of feel a pressure to like do that too. Because girl, sometimes the lighting does not do me justice. Um, we have a cat. I think I mentioned this in a previous video. Her name is Persia. And she is almost nine months. Actually, she turned nine months yesterday. Wow, I'm a bad mom. I don't know what kind of breed she is. They just say she's a domestic short hair, but we speculate that she's a Russian blue, just given her like coat color and her features. Um, and she's also like pretty chill in terms of like like attitude and stuff. She's actually really friendly and can be really annoying to like me and Sala. Those are just the fruits of motherhood. After I got married, we moved in together right away. I mean, we went on a honeymoon to Bali, Indonesia, and then now we are still living in the same city that we went to college to. It kind of feels like a bigger city than my hometown of Cleveland. And it's just kind of nice to like have our own um, city where like we're close enough to family. I mean, I've lived on my own since I moved to college, staying in Columbus and moving in with um, a man was not a huge adjustment to me. The only living with a man part was. But yeah, some other stuff about me is I enjoy working out. If I don't go to the gym, I like to run outside. I occasionally enjoy doing yoga. I really enjoy going for walks, but this winter is just freaking dragging on. I hate the cold. As I'm getting older, I hate it more. I think it's because I get cold really easily these days. Okay, also I'm going to take a flatter brush and go in with this um, light shade here and add it kind of to like the center of the eyelid and bring it to the inner corner. My husband and I enjoy cooking, trying out new recipes, trying to recreate our mom's food. We're nowhere near that level, but we will get there inshallah. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my MAC mascara. This is the... In Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash. Now, if you know me and you know how I do my makeup, you would know that I've been using this since 2015 and I'm not joking. I got my makeup done when I was 15 years old in LA and they use this mascara on me and I swear this is the most underrated product on this planet. So the fact that I'm telling you guys this means a lot. It just takes your lashes to the next level. Like it adds like a whole nother set of lashes. I will say I got eyelash extensions done this past summer like for my wedding and vacations and stuff. And it's so sad. I feel like ever since I've gotten them off, my lashes have not been the same. They're shorter. There's less of them. And my eyes just generally like itch a lot. And I try not to do it, but like... I think just like me kind of like scratching my eyes kind of messes with the lashes that are there. So it might not look like there's a dramatic difference, but like if you got a healthy set of lashes, then there will be. But here, let me kind of show you. So I don't know if you can tell the difference, but it's so good. As you can see, some of the mascara like got on my eyelids, but I wait for that to fully dry. And then I just take a spoolie and I just kind of like crust it off. Now... I'm going to go in with my Makeup by Mario bronzer. And then I don't contour my nose. I just like kind of add some bronzer to it. Because I feel like, I mean to each their own, but I feel like if I were to start contouring my nose, that's like too dramatic of a change to my face. And I just don't want to like go down that road. Adding a little bit of like blush and contour adds some like color and dimension and that's like good enough for me. This Kylie Cosmetics blush in the shade Winter Kiss. And it's this cool tone like purpley blush. And honestly the Kylie blushes are not that pigmented. So I like go in pretty heavy in a few times. And honestly the only reason I'm using this right now is because I'm using my travel makeup bag because my main makeup collection is in our office room and just the lighting and the setup is better in here so i'm gonna go in with some highlighter and again this product i've had forever this is the anastasia beverly hills m Reezy highlighter if you know you know it literally looks like i haven't even touched this and i've had it since like 
2016 or 2017. I'm not gonna go too heavy. I just kind of want to add some like dewiness and I just use my pinky and do kind of like an exclamation point on my nose. I feel like in college I used to do my makeup a lot more because if you knew me in college, Fridays were the days I looked good and the days that I did my makeup. Also, last year, like my last semester of college, I really spent a lot of time trying to find my absolute like perfect wedding makeup because again, like I was planning to do my own makeup for my wedding. Like, I just feel like I knew my face the best and I am gonna do my wedding makeup tutorial probably closer to the summertime when, you know, it's wedding season. I usually do lip liner. I think I accidentally stole my mom's lip liner. I'm gonna go in with the MAC lip liner in the shade Cork. I think I overlined too much, but that's okay. MAC lip products will always be top tier. There is no arguing. And I probably should set my face with some setting powder. Not setting powder, with some setting spray, but I don't know if I want to do that. don't like the feeling of like a wet spray on my face. Also, real quick, guys, let me show you my little travel makeup bag. I love this. Before, everything was just like thrown in together, but I could put my brushes there. I have like lipsticks here. Like lip liners, mascaras, I just put my makeup by Mariel eyeshadow there. Foundations, powders, blush, bronzer, highlighter, and then I just throw in the beauty blender. And then it just sips up and it's great. Okay, so it is so much colder than I thought it was going to be today. So I'm literally going to wear the most like mid outfit. It's like a thrifted cardigan I got and just a black shirt underneath. And these airy yoga pants, they are so comfy. They're just super stretchy and the sliding is so weird. Anyways, they're just like really comfy. It's like the cross waist, if you guys know what I'm talking about. So you guys should definitely get them. They're not that expensive compared to like Lulu and stuff. So I'm gonna take my Gucci bucket bag. And like I said, I wanna go to some thrift stores today and go to the home good section. I want some like cute pieces, whether they're like little dishes or paintings or just stuff to put on the wall. Because I just feel like the store will offer me one of a kind pieces, plus for a good price, plus it's good for the environment. Let's go get some coffee and let's go to the thrift store. Also, tell me why out of all days this week, today, is the day that it's like 25 degrees outside. It was like 50s, 60s, even 70 at one point this week. And out of all the days I decide to leave my house and look good, it's 25 degrees. Baby, mommy loves you. My sweet, sweet kitty. So I actually don't know if I wanna go get a coffee. Because it's really cold and I like to get iced coffees when I go get coffee from outside. The only like coffee places near me are like Starbucks and I just feel like they don't have good hot coffee. We might scratch the coffee. I'm kind of just like thinking do I even want to be out right now? But I already did my makeup and we're already like halfway there. I think I'm just worried that I'm not going to find anything and this will all have been for nothing. That's like really unoptimistic thinking. I think the other thing that's bothering me is that I'm tired yet I don't want to go get coffee. And it's not even that I don't want to get it, it's that it's already like almost three. And if I have coffee too late, then I won't sleep. And so I kind of feel like I'm in a little pickle. I think I'm honestly just PMSing if we're being completely honest. And it's cold, I wish it wasn't cold. If it was sunny and warm, I think everything would be different. I blame the weather. one because 
I feel like it has those bronze tones. Yeah. Okay. What do you think of this? Wait, it smells good. <laughs> yeah. Lavender. That smells like uh, that candle that we got. Remember the candle that we got? It smells like that. Should we rock it's with it? It's supposed to be lavender. <clears throat> yeah, we could rock with it. Yeah, that's good. This white stuff. Show them what you're thinking. Yeah. I think that, that kind of looks cool. It does kind of snow everywhere though, this white one. Mm. I was gonna say, as long as what we're getting is cat friendly and is like out of reach, maybe of her. Yeah. These do go with everything, guys. These are similar to the ones that I had from college. This is so crunchy. So we just got back and I got some cute home bits, found some cute uh, vases, vases. This is the first one. It's just a simple clear glass vase with a cute shape. This is the second one that I found. I just thought this was really unique. It kind of reminded me of like archaic, bronze age, AD era. It's kind of like a metal-y material. And this little white container that I'm sure you could put a candle in here or some plants. Or I guess white just kind of goes with everything and can add some lightness to wherever I put it. Last vase type thing I got was this. I just think this is so pretty. I love stained glass, especially with this like bluish green type. It has some pretty like detailing. And then I also got from the thrift store some frames. So the first thing I got, were um, this is a set of two. There's two of these, these little mirrors. I just thought these were really, again, unique and a cool shape. Whichever accent wall I put them on, I could kind of stagger them like one here, one here. Mirrors obviously like make a space look bigger than it is. And I got this thing. I thought this was really cool and unique because it has a stand. And so um, I actually ordered a leaning shelf to like, you know, put a bunch of these decorations on. Got a few picture frames. Uh, this one is of a flower. This one, this is really cute. Stopped at Michael's to get some fake plants and stems to go in the vases. So got this one right here. We got these uh, smaller, more like delicate, bushy flowers. We got some greenery, so we got this one right here. This one I really like, these whites. I just feel like it'll make the space look really bright and almost whimsical. And then you could put some like little glass balls at the bottom, you know what I'm talking about. Lastly, just got some really simple, classy, off-white, rose-looking things in here. But yeah, guys, that is it for this haul. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me to the different thrift the stores, getting my little home decor stuff. I'll definitely update you guys in an upcoming video of just how I incorporate these different decorations. And I'll even do an apartment tour soon. I just kind of want to finish whatever projects and I'm going to start. Also, I forgot to mention, I got this really cute little stool. I think it's called like a plant stool. So thinking our cat could sit on here no just kidding we could actually put some stuff on here i just like i don't know it's cute that is officially it for this video say bye to youtube okay bye guys we love you